The Cosmos SDK has two main account types. One of those is base account and the other is module account. Base accounts are what the average user are going to have. Underneath the hood, it's going to store the address, which is the human readable wallet, the public key as they have submitted a, a transaction signature that will be saved, an account number, which is incremented by one for every new base account and or module account, and then a sequence, which is a notes, and that is a, another number that increases for every transaction that you do on chain. As the account is created, it is set as zero, and as you submit your first transaction, this continues to increase with every transaction that you submit. Module accounts are a little bit different because the chain is the one who owns it, so there's no public key that needs to be stored, and the account wallet is derived from the actual name of the, the account. So, for instance, gov, being a string gov, would then go into a, another wallet. So here we also store the, the base account into, into this because we're wrapping base account essentially. And then we can add some extra permissions, for example, allow it to mint, allow it to burn, allow it to do other functions uh, that we need to specify that it should have permission to, to make sure that it doesn't, doesn't misinterpret how we, how we implemented it. We can see here via the auth export of a state export, all of the accounts of a chain at any height. So if you run a full node, there will be a future video on this of how to export the height uh, and, and grab all of this data from the auth module. So we can see here, you know, here is the account type. It is a base account. This one has this account number, which is whenever it was created, which creating an account can either be you sending it funds or it's doing some transaction on behalf of the chain. We can see here the, the wallet address of this account, a public key, which if an account has not actually done a transaction will be null, but that means that it has, has received funds from another outside source, so it could theoretically become a future wallet. And then we have the sequence, which is the number of transactions that it has done. If we go look at a, an account that has done a transaction, we can see here this account has by seeing that the sequence is one and the public key is actually set here for deriving the difference between the wallet and that, which is only able to happen after an account has done a successful transaction to the chain. So here we have base accounts. Now we can go check out a module account. So if we scroll here, we can go actually see, here's the transfer module of the IBC Keeper. So this word was then derived into this Juno address here that happened, and here is that account number. And then here are the permissions it has. It can mint tokens and it can burn tokens because of the way that IBC happens. Now, if we wanna go look at another one, we can keep scrolling through here. Also, we mentioned vesting accounts. So if we come here and we go to vesting, we can go see, for example, a continuous vesting account. So this is another wrapped base account where this account is what you would expect a normal account to be, but then we added extra fields on top of that. So that would be delegated free vesting. When does this vesting actually end? How much was the original vesting amount? And then when did that start at too?